Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are comfortable at your home. Since we all are locked in our house in this lockdown, so why not have some fun with science? Okay, so today we will learn something about living and non-living things. Children, you can learn this with the help of a software that is Extra Marks Learning App. Here it is. You can download this and then have some fun with science. Okay, so let me teach you what are living and what are non-living. As you can see, living things need food, water, air. They move on their own. They grow and respond to changes. They reproduce. And what about the non-living things? Non-living things, they do not move, grow, respond or reproduce. Okay, so let's come back to living things. Now see, as I told you that living things need food, water and air. Children, we all are living with the plants, animals, people. We all need food, isn't it, to stay alive and we need water and air to survive. Then, as you can see, living things move on their own. We have legs to walk, animals walk on their four legs, fishes swim in water and birds fly in the sky. So all living things can move, but plants, they cannot move. And what is the need for them to move? Because they do not have to search food or water. They move, they don't move, they grow taller and taller, isn't it? Because they prepare their own food with the help of sunlight, air and water. And now see, they grow and respond to changes. Yes, as I said, children, when you are a small baby, you are of some uh, one foot size. But now you see, you can see your, your height. It is growing day by day with your every upcoming birthdays, isn't it? In the same way, plants are also growing taller and taller. But what about the non-living things? Do they grow? No. Is your pen becoming taller? Or is your phone becoming taller? No, they are all are non-living things. Then, they respond to changes. Children, when it is very hot or when it is very cold, we all can feel the changes, isn't it? With the help of the five sense organs that are our eyes, nose, ear, skin and tongue, isn't it? But do the non-living things they respond to changes? No, isn't it? Now, they reproduce. Living things reproduce to produce more of their own kind. But can a pen multiply itself? No, it cannot multiply itself. It cannot reproduce. So, it is a non-living thing. Now see, living things are people, animals and plants. And what about the non-living things? They can be natural or they can be man-made. So, what are natural non-living things? They are air, water, sun, mountains, isn't it? They all cannot breathe, they all cannot grow. That is why they are non-living things. And what about the man-made things? Like your book, pen, building, clothes, your house, your door, window, everything is non-living, isn't it? Now children, I hope you have understood a basic idea about living and non-living. Now I'm giving you a home assignment. And what is that? That is draw five living and five non-living things this you can do at the comfort of your home and you will enjoy doing it and don't forget to follow the extra marks learning app you will definitely enjoy it thank you children have a good time